In this video, I'm going to show you seven insane ways to use Gemini 2.5 Pro. And by the end of this video, you're going to see how these examples can save you tons of time per week. So we're going to start off on AI Studio. And on AI Studio, we can actually upload multiple file types. So I have this two hour and 12 minute long meeting, and I'm going to hit here, I'm going to hit upload file, and it is uploading our audio file. And now I can add a prompt that says, focus on the most important powerful ideas per personal stories or insight, skip filler, intros and visuals, and just give me a summary. So when it is done uploading, make sure you're on 2.5 Pro and now we can hit run. So it is going to go through the full two hours and 12 minutes and come back with just like a quick brief summary for us without having to listen through it all. So now we have our summary here and it says it's a council meeting that covered several topics and it breaks it all down with bullet points. It's nice and clean, quick and easy to understand. We're not listening to a two hour audio now to get our input or output or information. Now we can go to stream and this is really cool as well. So we can actually just paste this into stream, read this prompt word for word, and then we can hit run. And this municipal council meeting covered several key topics. Agenda amendment, a discussion about the dust problem on Vernon Road with just like that, we have the ability to turn our two hour meeting into a summary and then have it actually read back out to us back as another audio file. So the multimodal capabilities of Gemini and Gemini 2.5 Pro are absolutely insane because now you can take long meetings and condense them down and save time. The next prompt is for repurposing content. So we can say, hey, scan the transcript and find the gold, the ideas, phrases, and moments that will get people to stop scrolling and react. Create three LinkedIn posts to build to spark conversation, plus three YouTube short scripts that are high energy, insight packed and structured with virality. And then it says hook value CTA. So we just need a link now. So we're gonna go to the channel. We're gonna pick one of these videos here. So say we pick this video here about Google's flow and we can come back here and we can say here is the link and we can paste our link in. It's going to extract the video. We can hit run and it is going to gather the data from the video and create social media posts for us. So it has our information here. We see the gold nuggets from the transcript. So we talk about the tool, the tech, the wow demo, and we have our LinkedIn post here that we have just generated from our video. And then we have another one here, our post two. And if we keep scrolling down, we're gonna see post three, and we're going to see our YouTube short. So we have like our hook, it even tells us what to have as our voiceover, the value, what to do next, and then the CTA, hey, want to try it? Link in the bio. Like it's US only, wink, VPN, wink. <laughs> so it's telling us to like, you know, and now we can say, hey, here's the next short idea that we can use. So just using Gemini 2.5 Pro, and a YouTube link with a prompt, we can actually generate some pretty powerful repurposed content ideas. And if you enjoy this type of content and you wanna stay up to date with the latest AI news, tools, everything AI, don't forget to click the subscribe button. It is completely free to do. So let's get out of AI Studio and let's go to the Gemini app for a sec. When you're on the Gemini app, we can click Canvas and now we can ask something like, hey, can you create a world map that shows the average internet use for each country? I like it to be color coded so I can tell visually. And here's the difference. AI Studio is completely free. You have access to a lot of the latest models, but it does not have Canvas. Gemini app allows you to use Canvas, but you can't upload audio. So just kind of like jump back and forth between the two. Uh, AI Studio is really good for a free service and you have access to the latest models and you should still have access to this, which is also completely free. So here we're generating a world internet usage map and it is making it for us. And this is a really cool use case from a business perspective. So say you have a app that is from the web or for the web, you can say, okay, which demographics am I going to target? Or maybe you wanna change the prompt to 
which country has the best buying power. So now you're going to kind of get the map with buying power and you can say, okay, which countries am I going to target with my business? And this will save you time from a research perspective. As we scroll down, you can see what's happening here. It is actually outputting all of our code. It's making a country map, but none of this really even matters because we're going to be able to preview our app and not have to know anything about code. So here is our map here, and we can see internet usage by country. We can hover over, we can see exactly the percentages of different countries. It is color-coded, so it looks kind of nice. And if we hover over places that don't have anything, like Russia and the United States, it says it's not available. And I actually prompted it saying, hey, what's going on? Why does the data not there? And it said US is 95.7 and Russia is 92.4. can actually prompt it and we can go back and forth. We can gather all those different pieces of data to gain insight across the world. So we can kind of change this prompt up to whatever we need based off our niche, based off our market, and we can kind of get different ideas and gather data really fast and gather marketing data really quickly. The last two ways I want to show you that you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro and it is absolutely insane you can do this, but on AI Studio, there's a thing called Build, and I did a full video on this yesterday if you wanna watch that one, but you can actually like start from a template, you can generate apps, you can see different examples. This is really cool because you can expand your app and it does it all for you. So we can actually see your apps and I built this text adventure game. Imagine you said, build me a CRM system and it actually went through, it built you the entire system. You can now hit share app or we can run it to the cloud and we have an entire CRM system without having to pay a ton of money to any developer. We can customize the features for our business. We can customize the features to our liking and it is our own and you didn't even code it. And the last way I wanna show you that you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is absolutely insane. Probably the coolest way is, so I did this video here where I drew and then eventually I turned the drawing into a full-fledged app through Canvas. So you can actually just draw on a piece of paper and then put it in Canvas and say, make this into an app and poof, you have an app. So I definitely recommend checking out those two videos if you want to see even more what Gemini can do, but it is extremely helpful for personal use, for business, just to save you time. And there's all these different use cases that you can use it with on a daily basis to save you an incredible amount of time or even money by creating things, creating little tools that will make your life easier easier. And if you guys enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, it tells the algorithm you want to see more of it. Comment down below what ways are you using Gemini 2.5 Pro. I think it is the best model. I do pay for the Claude Max plan right now, and I still think Gemini is the best model, and especially considering it's free, it is mind-boggling the stuff you can do. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.